plastic is everywhere, in bottled water, in clothing, in cars, even in tiny microbeads used in facial cleansers. But even after plastic is discarded, it can stay around for decades, degrading into microscopic particles that find their way into water supplies. Some scientists call it a significant health threat. When we manufacture plastics, it's not just the polymer, it's not just the plastic. We put um, plasticizers, we put flame retardants, we put colorants. You know, we, we, we um, manufacture them embedded with a bunch of chemicals to begin with. A new study found microplastic contamination to be a global problem. Plastic fibers were found in 72 percent of the tap water tested in Europe. The problem increased in places like India and was highest in the U.S., where 94 percent of tap water tested contained microplastic. Plastic is harder and takes longer to break down than glass or other materials. Researchers say once it gets into water, it can be difficult to filter out. Some wastewater treatment plants can capture up to 90 percent, and some are losing more than 90 percent of the plastic. So I think that they are a significant source of microplastic and microfiber contamination in our waterways. Researchers say the only real way to reduce microplastic contamination is to reduce the use of plastic, and that is starting to happen. Many consumers are replacing plastic bags with reusable cloth ones, and some manufacturers are replacing plastic containers with glass. Still, it could take decades to rid the planet of all the plastic that's already been around for decades. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, Washington.